hydropower at present makes up 40% of Papua New Guinea's installed power capacity due to the optimal conditions and terrains for hydropower plants. The second major power source to be developed in the country was geothermal energy, initially exploited to power the Lihir gold mine in New Island province. Geothermal energy is the heat from the Earth's core and, simply put, is clean and sustainable. So geothermal uh, energy has many forms, but the, the form that uh, we are here discussing is the easiest form, and that's the geothermal he link, uh, heat that's linked to volcanoes and volcanic heat. So what you need is a ground source of heat. So this is where under a volcano you have like a magma supply. A magma is where you have liquid rock close to the surface. This is at a temperature of 1,000 degrees centigrade or something like that. It heats water in the upper parts of the crust. That water circulates and it also produces steam. So the geothermal energy will tap that hot water and that steam, which then drives turbines, which then can generate electricity. The volcanic belts around the country are home to significant amounts of active volcanic activity, including 55 known geothermal sites. According to the Geothermal Energy Association, PNG's geothermal potential is estimated to be at 21.9 terawatt hours, which is enough to meet all our electricity needs well into the future. So that's in theory, yeah? In practice, probably only part of that could be uh, realized, actualized. But even if it's half or a quarter or even a tenth of that, it's a very significant contribution to the, to the power base. And although the upfront costs of geothermal are quite high, the running costs, once, once the plant is up and running, are quite low. So over time, it's a, uh, you, you really get your money back. And in theory, it can last forever. You know, volcanoes last at least a million years, yeah. which is a long time for people in a human time scale. So if we, if we look after the heat and we look after the resource, then the plants can go for decades and hundreds of years in theory. Leon Gerari, National MTV News.